Greetings Bio 111 students. In this video I'm going to show you how to create the second graph for the osmosis part of the permeability lab. For this graph your axes are going to be a little bit different. For your x-axis you're going to be graphing percent sucrose and then for the y-axis you're going to be graphing the total percent weight change of each egg in each of these solutions. So what I've done here is taken the last data point for each of the eggs uh, percent weight change in each percent sucrose. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is click on cell A1 and select all your data. You'll go up to the insert tab and click on that. Then you'll come over to the charts part of the toolbar and click on the drop down menu that says insert scatter and you're going to add the first option which is only the data points. Notice we don't have axis titles, so we're going to add those by going up to the Quick Layout button, clicking on that, and selecting the first option. So remember that our x-axis is percent sucrose. Our y-axis is total percent weight change. Now we don't have a line, so we need to add a line, but instead of connecting the dots here, we're going to add what's called a trend line. A trend line basically runs a straight line through the data to give us an idea of what the trend in the data is. In this case, the total percent weight change versus the percent sucrose. So what you need to do is put your mouse over one of your data points and right click. Then you will click on add trend line in the menu that pops up and you will see on the right side here we have another menu it will automatically select linear and that's what you want so all you have to do is just click the X to get that menu off of there and now you've got your graph that's how you create the second graph for the osmosis part of the permeability lab 